take out your pens, take out your papers, take out your notepad and write down these notes because I'm about to give you guys the top three things that you need to know as an investor inside the stock market in order to have success. Now, these three things I'm going to give to you guys is just based off of statistics. You, you, if you use these statistics, you cannot lose. If you lose using these three strategies that I'm going to give you guys, you will be the first person in history to ever lose using these strategies. I'm telling you, if you use all three of these strategies together, it is impossible to lose. Now, if you lose, hey, hey, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only, but I'm telling you guys, these three strategies that I'm about to give you guys inside of this video is going to take your investing to the next level. Now, I'm going to give it to you straight. I'm going to tell you what three things you need to know right now. So, for me telling you these three things just right off the top and then I'm going to dive into what exactly these three things, how to use these three strategies. For me telling you just straight off the top right here, right now, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year 2024. I'm around 295,000 subscribers. Help me get to 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year by hitting that subscribe button i heard that if you hit the subscribe button it does a nice little animation for you go ahead and check that out so thank you for hitting that subscribe button but that in the last video that i showed you guys that blew up that got over a million views i told you guys to invest inside of companies that you use and companies that you know that is that is not all that is that is a great strategy, but it doesn't beat the three strategies that I'm going to show you inside this video. That strategy is used to get you interested inside of the market. Let's say if you're buying Coca-Cola, you're buying Apple because you use that product. You buy Coke every day. It's going to get you more interested inside of the stock market. When you go inside these grocery stores and you see Coca-Cola, you say, hey, I'm a part owner. Very small owner, but very small owner of this product right here. It gets you interested inside the stock market. The more you start to invest inside products that you own. But it is a possibility and it does happen that you absolutely love a product and you can lose money by investing inside of that product. So it's a great strategy to get you interested inside the stock market to get you started. But it does not even come close to these three strategies inside this video. So here it goes. The first one is to invest inside companies that you use through an ETF. I'm going to explain to what that is first. The second thing is to invest inside of companies that is having a stock buyback i'm time i ain't talking about no small buybacks i'm talking about companies that have 60 billion dollars of stock buybacks i'm going to give you what company does that in this video and number three invest inside of company that has stock splits i'm going to explain why you should invest inside of companies that have stock splits and exactly how they outperform the stock market and by how much percents now the first one on this list i told you guys to invest inside of etfs the three that i'm going to tell you in this video the first one is qqq qqq is an etf has around 100 100 and 203 companies inside this portfolio and it's heavy inside of the technology sector when you invest inside of an etf that's heavy inside the technology sector they have the most growth by far they do take the biggest hits when the market is in a pullback the technology sector take the biggest hits but they also recover the quickest and have the most growth. I'm going to show you in this video. The first one is ticker symbol QQQ. The second one is ticker symbol VOO. It's very conservative. It tracks the stock market. It has the top 500 companies in America, the S&P 500 inside of this portfolio, whether it's, if it's performing good or performing bad. It has the top 500 companies in America inside of this portfolio and it's considered the the market when you're trying to outperform the market they're talking about the s p 500 right now voo has is very diverse they got a little bit of everything inside of this portfolio and the third one is the new banger on the block s well it's not really new now shd is known for their dividends now they've been growing pretty good these last couple of years around 10 percent every single year but they've also been growing their dividends by 12 percent for the last 12 years and have a 3.3 percent dividend yield people invest inside of shd they're looking for more passive income by getting dividends now dividends is when you invest inside of a company and they're giving their investors a little kickback by saying hey thank you for investing inside of our company here's a kickback and dividends they, they they put right inside of your brokerage account they're gonna say here and SESD is a quarterly paying dividend stock so every quarter or every three months they're gonna deposit you some money inside of your account at a 3.3 percent dividend yield over the course of a year right inside your account every single quarter four times a year. Now, if we're looking at SCHD over the last year, they're up 22%. Last five years, they're up 57%. Last 10 years, they're up 125%. 
If you take a look at their holdings, they're kind of diverse all the way around. They're diverse. They have 18 percent of financials, 15 percent of healthcare, and a very small 10 percent in the technology sector. If we look at their dividends, five year growth, 12 percent. 12 years of growing their dividends at a 3.39% dividend yield. Now, let's take a look at VO. VOO or the SP 500 up 35% this year, five years up 96%, and over the last 10 years, they're up 197%. So, they've also been doing pretty doggone good. And if we take a look at their holdings, they're a little bit heavier inside the technology sector 12% financials, 12% in healthcare, and they're a little bit more diverse. And if we take a look at the last one, took a symbol QQQ. QQQ is up 36% over the last year, 157% in the last five years, and up 400% in the last 10 years alone. If we look at their holdings, just take a look at the massive technology sector. There's over half percent of it's over half of their portfolio with 51% being in the technology sector, with their top 10 holdings being Apple, Nvidia, Microsoft, Broadcom, Meta Platforms, Facebook, Amazon, Tesla, Costco. All of this is in their top 10%. All of this is in their top 10 holdings inside of their ETF. So that's the first strategy that I'm going to show you guys is to invest inside a high quality ETF. I gave you guys my top three. It doesn't have to be your top three. And you can invest inside VOO, which has the top 500 companies in America. You can invest inside SESD for a little bit of more passive income, or you could go all the way all in with QQQ and get that 400% over the next 10 years if the performance continue like it did the last 10 years and grow your portfolio that way. And it does have some good quality stocks like Apple, NVIDIA, Microsoft, Amazon inside of their top 10 holdings. If you guys do believe in the technology sector, QQQ might be the way to go. Let me show you guys something right quick. This is my investment portfolio, my, my portfolio dashboard that I have inside my, my Patreon. If you guys want this, you could come over and get it. It got my future projections, everything that I will make inside of the future inside here. But let's take a look at my dividend income. Now, in 2019, I was making 78 cents. In a, in, in a month, right? In my whole first year of dividend investing, I made $164. Now, after I started combining these three strategies that I'm going to tell you inside this video, after I start combining these three strategies together over the years, I took 78 cents per month and $164 in a year to me making more than that in a single month. My first month in January in 2024, I made $414 in dividends in a single month month after i started combining these three strategies together this tracker this portfolio tracker isn't it's available inside the patreon now the second strategy that i got for you guys that i told you was stock buybacks right when companies announce that they're having a stock buyback they usually perform pretty well the following calendar year the next 365 days now i'm not just saying because a company announced that they're having hey we're gonna buy back 10 million dollars worth of our shares hey we're gonna buy back 50 million dollars worth of our shares i know 50 million dollars sounds like a lot of money right but when companies have these buybacks when they buy back these shares that mean there's less shares that's floating around out there and when they buy back the shares and make the shares that you actually own more valuable supply and demand guys now don't listen to oh i'm buying 50 million dollars worth of shares back that's nothing like i said earlier in this video there's a company out there that buys billions billions of dollars of shares back now that company get your get your pins is microsoft microsoft announced all the time that they're doing multi-billion dollar share buyback programs like i think one of the highest ones was 30 or 60 billion dollars that they that they spent in share buybacks because microsoft is a multi-trillion dollar company they buying back 60 billion dollars worth of shares and that means the little shares that i got that i could afford on microsoft is going to become more valuable that means that stock price usually rise over the next quarter over the next year over the next 365 days and not only that you want to look for company that have stock buybacks, but you want to look for companies that have high stock buybacks. Not that they bought back shares five years ago and they haven't bought back shares since. You're looking for companies that buy back shares every single year, every single quarter. Those are the companies that you're looking for to add inside of your portfolio. If you could find them good quality companies, I'm giving you one, Microsoft. Microsoft is one that buy back shares every quarter, every year. You can find your own. I know Apple do share buybacks. But all right, I gave you guys two. I gave you guys two. You caught me. All right, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. 
because I gave you two. But if, if you do want to learn more information like this, I'm going to leave a link down in the description to Patreon. The Patreon to take you to my Discord. Inside of my Discord, I post all of my option trades every time I sell, all of my cash secure puts, my cover calls. And I also have three pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day. If you want to be a part of a community of traders that want to be financially free, just like you, go ahead and check out that link to Patreon. It's going to be down in the pin comment section. That's going to be down in the description. But yeah, I gave you guys two right there. Apple and Microsoft do announce that they're buying back shares a lot. And, Mark, and Apple actually acquire a lot. I mean, I ain't, I ain't gonna get in there. It's gonna be inside the it's gonna be inside the Patreon. But all right, so let's move over to the last one. The last one is gonna be stock splits. When a company has a successful stock split, the most recent one was he just had a three to one stock split. One of the ETFs that I announced inside this video, that means for every one share that you own of SCHD, after the stock split, now you're gonna own three shares. What does that mean? If I gave you a dollar versus me giving you four quarters. So four quarters is a 41 stock split, a dollar is just one share, right? So the value that I give you doesn't change at all. You're still gonna have a dollar if I give you a dollar and you're still gonna have a dollar if I give you four quarters. Nothing fundamentally changed at all but the price so statistically speaking when companies have successful stock splits they outperform the stock market by around six to eight percent over the the following year over the next 365 days they usually do good if the if, if the sp 500 go up six percent then the stock split stock might go up 12 percent if the s p 500 drops six percent then the the company that had a stock split might just trade sideways that's the six to eight percent difference right there so if it drops six percent the company that 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 had the stock split might actually perform eight percent up and get you at a plus two percent on the year but when companies have a successful stock split some of the ones that had success splits earlier was chipotle had a 50 to one stock split shd had a three to one stock split apple a couple years ago had a stock split tesla had a 20 to something stock split a couple years ago when these companies had successful stock splits they usually perform well. That doesn't mean go in and throw all your money in. When the price is high, the price usually pulls back a little bit after the stock split, and then you could go in and buy more shares. Why does that happen? Is I know you guys can see that you could buy fractional shares on most platforms. If you do want to buy fractional shares, I'll leave a link to Moomoo Moo down in the description. Moomoo Moo is right now offering you guys 15 free shares just from signing up and using that platform. So you guys could check that out. That link is going to be down in the description. But there's a lot of brokers out there that are still not offering fractional shares. So people that's out there that want to buy a full share or something might not be able to afford that $100 share, but they could probably afford that $25 share after the stock split, right? There are a lot of brokers out there that are not offering fractional shares. So with the, the price being more affordable to retail investors, that helped boost the price of that stock over the next year. And also, once you get to 100 shares, let's say if you had, let's say if there was a 41 stock split and you had 25 shares after the stock split, now you have 100 shares. Now you can sell cover costs or cash your cure puts on your 100 shares, whatever stock had the stock split. So it gets more activity going on the stock that had the share split. Does anything fundamentally change about the company other than the price? Not really. There's, I mean, there's some stuff, liquidation. There's some stuff going on behind the scenes on why companies have stock splits. But that is also a good move. And if guys, if you was to combine all three of these strategies into your portfolio, into your investment thing, it, there's no way you could fail. You'd be the very first person that would invest inside the S&P 500 over the last 30 years and lose money. You'll be the first person to invest inside of QQQ on the last 10 years and lose money. You'll be the first person to invest inside of Apple or Microsoft over the last 20 years and lose money. If you put these strategies together and find you some companies that have buybacks, stock buybacks, find you some companies and do research on companies that's, ha that's having a stock split and you go in there and buy and invest in quality ETFs, there's no way that you could fail. And if you made it to the end of this video, remember, we're trying to get 300,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So go ahead, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I heard it does something pretty cool when you hit that subscribe button. I ain't going to say what it is, but if you hit it, you'll find out what it is. If you hit that subscribe button, it, I ain't going to hit that thing. 
But yeah, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me dropping more than Microsoft in here that I actually tell you about Microsoft and Apple. And that's actually a lot more to Apple. I might make another follow-up video. So if you want me to give you three more strategies that you could combine with these three strategies to make it make your investment guy even stronger, go ahead and comment that you want some more strategies down in the comment section. But yeah, guys, go ahead, share this video with a friend that you're starting your investing journey with. Share it with your parents, share it with your kids. Share with your grandma. I don't care. Just hit the share button and send it off. Sit in your in your group test message and go ahead and you guys can get started in your investment journey today. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show. I'm out. Peace.